Hi everyone, Frankie from easypowerwall.com. Today not from the shed, don't worry, everything is still in working order. I even had a record-breaking performance last month. The Powerwall generated over 400 kilowatt hours. Do you remember the last video? I installed all the hardware on the plywood and now I can connect all the devices. But before connecting the devices with the batteries, I want to pre-charge the inverters. I think I have a unique solution for that. I have seen many builders working with resistors, but they had their face covered with plastic and I have seen the fear in their eyes. They are so afraid from the spark. I think I have the unique solution to pre-charge your inverter. No sparks, no fear, just very easy and it's very cheap. It costs only no, no, not 50, only 5 US dollars. And you can also use it to charge your 16S battery configuration. I hope I sparked your interest. Let's check for the video and the hardware. This is the magic board I want to talk about. This is the booster module. You have an input, you have an output, and of course your input always has to be lower than your output. For my solution, I connected a 12 volt power supply, but if you have an old laptop power supply, 19 volt or even something like 24 volt, everything will work to charge your 16S uh, battery configuration. Very small board, available on Amazon and AliExpress, and the price is around 5 US dollars. The board has two potentiometers, it's a current limiter and the top one here is for voltage. Now I have the 12 volt power supply connected. This is uh, the configuration. We have the input here, we have the output. As I mentioned before, we have two potentiometer, one is for the current this one we don't touch for now because it's only a very small current for pre-charging the inverter. And this is the output. We can increase the output slowly by turning this potentiometer. It's not just one twist. This is a 10 turn potentiometer. So you can turn 10 times the screw before you hit the end of the scale. As you can see, the output is now 19.7. The voltmeter is connected with the output of the booster module. So in real life, I will connect these two connectors with the inverter and then slowly increase the voltage. This is decreasing. Let's, we have to turn it backwards. not that easy with the camera pointed but just got it right now as you can see the voltage is rising steady but slowly 28 34 and now 54 then let it rest for a uh, like 30 seconds a minute. Let's pre-charge all the capacitors of your inverter. And this way your inverter is pre-charged. You won't have any sparks. You don't need to wear safety glasses or face covers or anything else. This is a, the magic solution. Of course, you'll find the link to this board in the description. And as I said, before in the video you can use a very basic power supply in this case i use a 12 volt power supply but you can also use 24 just whatever you have in your junk box will work just keep in mind that the input voltage will always or has to be lower than your output voltage now i will show you how i've done it in real life a couple of months ago Let me show you the setup I created to pre-charge the inverters. 
I have here a 12 volt power supply, voltmeter. Then I have the booster module and the out goes to the inverter. And of course the in goes to the power supply. Now I connected the output from the module to a voltmeter. And on this potentiometer, you can decrease, but of course also increase the voltage. And as you can see, you can slowly move it towards the desired voltage. In our case, 53 volts or so. And this is how you pre-charge your inverter without sparks, without hassle. So let's move the connectors to the inverter. So you can connect it directly to the um, inverter, but I choose to connect it to the negative bus bar and the cables go to the inverter. And here I'll go to the positive cable that goes to the inverter. I'm turning the knob of the I'm turning the potentiometer of the module I let it sit for a few seconds let the capacitors pre-charge Now we're going to charge inverter number one or number two. You see I have the voltmeter connected with the positive cable towards the inverter. We are at 15 volt. Let me see if I can catch it in one screenshot. See the voltage is going up, turn the potentiometer backwards, and we now at 54, I think that's the maximum output voltage of this module, and that's just more than enough for our inverter. Let it sit for a few seconds so all capacitors can pre-charge, all induction, all inductors. And this is how you pre-charge your uh, inverters without any spark, without gloves, without glasses, and still very safe. That's it, they're pre-charged now. I pre-charged the inverters. Now I'll do a final step here. I'll add the fuses. These are 125, just like the others.
Hi everyone, Frankie from EasyPowerWall.com. A rather short clip today, but a very interesting topic. I really hope you liked the video on how to pre-charge the inverter. Keep in mind, it's, it's very interesting or very important to pre-charge your inverter to protect your BMS, to protect your connectors and also pro to protect yourself. You can always have an arc that comes your way and with this procedure, this module, it's trouble free, it's cheap and it's a very easy way to pre-charge your inverter. I hope you like the content, if so please hit that like button and see you soon for more content. This was Frankie for EasyPowerWall.com.